Hi there, I'm Sean Delman. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to download and install Fujitsu ScanSnap Home. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you'd like more information about how to use Fujitsu ScanSnap Home, please see my other walkthrough videos. Okay, so to get started, we're going to visit this Fujitsu website, which is their global support website. The address is fujitsu.com forward slash global forward slash support. And once we're at this website, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna see this map of the world and we're going to pick the region uh, that we're in. For me, I'm in North America, so this is the uh, region I will pick. And then now we're going to get this next screen which asks which specific country we are in. For the purposes of this demonstration, we'll go with US. So once I click that uh, country name, it's going to take me to a new website which is specific to that country. So in this case, the address is fujitsu.com forward slash US forward slash support. And once we reach this website, we're going to scroll down and we're going to see a bunch of different options here for different hardware and different products that they have. We're gonna select here where it says scanners and that's gonna take us to the next screen. And now that we've selected scanners, we're taken to the scanner resource center. Again, we will scroll down and we will see a button here that says download. We're gonna click on this. This next screen is drivers and downloads and we're going to click download software here under where it says scan snap. Okay, so this takes us to the ScanSnap section of the Fujitsu website, and as you can see, the address is scansnap.fujitsu.com forward slash global forward slash DL, which means download. Now we will scroll down and we'll pick the product that we're going to be using the software with. I'm gonna be doing this demonstration on the iX1600, so I'll pick that first. Next, it asks what operating system we're using. I'm using Windows 10, so I will select that, and then I will click this button which says display software list. Okay, finally, I reach this screen which says ScanSnap Home Download Installer. I'm going to click over here on the right-hand side where it says download. One more time, it's asking us to confirm our location. I will leave this as United States and I will click the blue button below, which is the process to use if you're using a computer that has internet access. This is the end user license agreement. We are going to scroll to the bottom and then click that we accept. Okay, so if you look at the bottom left-hand corner, you will see that the download has begun and it will download that file into my downloads folder. Once it's in that folder, I will double click it to start the process and I get this screen which says, welcome to ScanSnap Home Setup. I will click on next and now it's asking if I want to do a typical or a custom install. I'll do a typical because I think that's the setup process that would work the best for the most people. And because we've selected a typical install, it is telling us that it's going to install the files into the standard uh, C drive location where, where programs are usually installed. And it's going to save my data into my OneDrive folder, which is actually a really handy thing because it means that whenever I scan any of my documents, they will already be backed up to the cloud. Okay, I'll click next. And as you can see, the progress meter has started. It goes pretty quickly. The first part was doing the install, then it downloaded the software that it needed. And then the final part is the cleanup part of the installation process. Uh, yet again, it's asking us to pick which specific scanner we are using. I will select the iX1600. And now it's asking for me to plug the power into the unit and plug in the USB cable. So here you are, uh, I've plugged in the, the cable. You have to open this little cover and then that's where you install the USB cable and now it's asking us to turn the unit on by opening the cover. So just like this, go to the front, open the cover and this is the first thing that you see when you start it. It's going to ask us to select our language. We will select English and then press next. It's going to do a little power save mode thing for a moment. And then now it's going to tell us about the warranty information. That's fine, we will select next. Now it's asking us to select our startup mode, whether we want to do normal or fast. I'm gonna put it on fast because that means that whenever I close the cover, the scan snap will be in a sleep mode. Um, if you select normal, whenever you close the cover, it'll actually power the unit off. Because I use my scanner quite often, I'd rather that whenever I open the cover, it starts more quickly and, and that it was just sleeping as a to it being powered off. So you can go with either setting on that, um, but I'm gonna go with fast. Next, it's asking if we're gonna be using this with a computer or a smartphone or with both. I'm actually gonna be using it on both, so I'll select that and then I'll click on next. Now it's asking us to connect our ScanSnap unit to our computer. 
I've done that, so now let's return to the software and we'll continue the process there. Now that the USB cable is connected, the software is going to detect that and it's going to check the connection for a few moments. And then when it's done, we're going to get this screen which says that the connection is complete. Next, the software is going to ask if we want to set this up with Wi-Fi, and for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to do that. It makes the scanner much more useful if you connect it by Wi-Fi because you don't have to connect it to your computer, and you don't even need it to be sitting next to your computer. You can actually put your scanner wherever you want as long as it has a strong Wi-Fi signal. Um, you can use it uh, in another room, and it'll still work on your computer or it'll work on your laptop. So we're going to connect this to our Wi-Fi just to make it uh, a lot more useful. So this is the first screen that we're going to get. It's going to search for the Wi-Fi connections that are in our area. So this is the list that it brings up. It's detected all of these networks. Mine is the second on the list, so I'm going to select that and I'm going to click Next. Now it's asking me to put in my password, so I'll do that. Now it is verifying my password and connecting to the wireless network and then this screen shows that the connection has been successful. This screen is now connecting through the computer and the Wi-Fi back to the ScanSnap unit, so this is just going to process for a moment. This screen is telling us that we can unplug the USB cable, which means that the Wi-Fi connection has been successful, so we don't need to connect by USB anymore because we can connect wirelessly. So here I am, I'm just unplugging the cable from the back of the scanner, and now it says that it's preparing a Wi-Fi connection. It's just still kind of finishing the setup process. So now I'm going to show you the front of the scanner so that you can see that when you start the process of connecting by Wi-Fi, you're going to have this screen, which is processing, and you'll see these little icons. One is a USB uh, icon which is on the right and the other is a Wi-Fi icon that's on the left. You'll see that the Wi-Fi icon actually has a little line through it which means that it's not connected by Wi-Fi. So when you put in your password and connect to the unit through your Wi-Fi network you'll next get this screen which shows that there's a Wi-Fi connection and a USB connection and then finally when you unplug the USB cable you'll see that you only have the Wi-Fi symbol and not the USB symbol anymore because the USB cable is no longer plugged in. Okay, so this is one of the last screens that we will receive. It says that the connection is complete, and now it's asking if we'd like to watch a tutorial video on the Fujitsu website. Um, we're gonna skip that for now, and then this is the last screen we get, which says let's use it, and we're gonna click on close, and that is going to open up the ScanSnap Home software. Okay, and with that, this is the first screen that you receive when you open the Fujitsu ScanSnap Home software. If you'd like more information about how to use this software, please see my other walkthrough videos. Thanks again for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. As always, I'm Sean Delman.